today we're talking about busy bags, which are a great way to keep little hands busy. Um, you know, when you need a moment either in the doctor's office or if you're out somewhere or even if you're at home and just want an activity to keep the kids um, occupied for a few moments. This busy bag is called Velcro Sticks um, and it's really easy to make and it's perfect for both the toddlers and preschoolers. So what you need for this one is um, colored popsicle sticks. I found these at my local dollar store and you need um, Velcro. And again, I found Velcro dots at the local um, dollar store. So what you do first is you cut the Velcro dots in half and glue them onto the, um, the ends of your uh, popsicle stick. You want a, a fuzzy side and then on the reverse you do um, two half dots with the rough side of the Velcro. Um, this allows you to make a lot of different shapes and have a lot of versatility with how they go together. To adhere them to the sticks, um, now these were self-adhesive. Um, I did, I do find they, they stick okay. I would probably glue gun them down um, just to make sure they're not going to move at all. And then you can find lots of different designs of, you know, either different shapes that you can make um, and you can print out some different cards or you can just let the child um, create their own shapes. So you can do challenges of asking them if once they're older and start to know their shapes, you know, make me a triangle and they can put them together and stick them into shapes like this. Or for example, here's a square. You can discuss different colors of the popsicle stick. So maybe you can ask them to build a square out of only uh, yellow popsicle sticks. So there's a lot of different ways where you can incorporate teachable moments into this busy bag. And the shapes easily go together and come apart for if you wanted to adjust them. So kids can do this. There's endless possibilities and creative ways that they can put these together and it really can keep you and them occupied for quite a while. And cleanup is quick. Just pick up your sticks and tuck them back into the bag until next time. You could also take pictures of several different shapes that you make and print them out on your home computer and put them on cardstock. That way they'll have a template to follow for different shapes they can make. So if you like this busy bag idea, um, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we will be showing more busy bags and quiet book pages tutorials. <laughs>